Attorney at law Justin Phelps says our response to violence and sexual brutality against children leaves a lot to be desired. He hints at a need for infrastructure to house abused children and insists that funding be allocated for the construction of these safe houses. I have heard stories of children being abused who have had to have been sent back to the same homes in which the abuse was allegedly occurring. And that is unacceptable and I think my understanding of the problem is that there was not any safe house, nowhere physically to take that child. From my recollection, she was about 11 or 12 to put her so that she was taken, ended up at a police station. The police could not accommodate her except in the police station and she eventually returned to the home. The attorney maintains that as a society we must become proactive and thus preventive. He believes a comprehensive package of measures is required if we are to successfully address the issue of child abuse. If we educate the public as to the existing laws, what we would find is that many mothers would come to realize that they have an obligation to attend to their children. And under the Children's Act, exposing children to circumstances in which they might be abused is a criminal offence, an indictable criminal offence. Expressing his difficulty in coming to terms with incidents of child abuse, Attorney Phelps draws reference to one particularly disturbing case. About a month ago, the most revolting possible news article appeared in the newspaper about a five-year-old child who was made to perform oral sex on a man. The narrative was that the mother had left this child with a boyfriend. But what the newspapers never said was what the purpose, whether the mother was short of any alternative, uh, any alternative infrastructure to leave that place to leave that child. According to the attorney, parents often find themselves in a position where they are forced to surrender the care of their children in less than ideal conditions. In spite of this, he says they must come to accept that the wider community is now a very dangerous place. The culpability extends past the perpetrator to the person who provided the opportunity for child abuse to take place. After that, the responsibility extends to the government and to the wider population for not insisting that the government do something about this. Commenting on government's response to child abuse, Mr. Phelps says it's difficult to accept lack of funding in what he calls a primary area where money should be spent. He says the Child Protection Unit is overburdened and unless it is properly funded, the unit, despite its best efforts, will not be able to absorb all reported cases of child abuse. He questions our priorities as a society, saying we are not as generous and magnanimous as we pretend to be. If you are in a, living in a country where you are finding your children in barrels, and then on another day people are in the streets for a huge festival subsidized by the government, we have a problem. Dion Batiste, C News.